Hi, my name's Garrett, working on a martial arts combat and exploration game called Strong by 3. This week, I was working a lot with the combat, specifically with the enemies, because who else are you going to fight? <laughs> um, so I was following along with this Bracky tutorial. It was a 2D melee combat tutorial, but I could manage to use a lot of it. I just had to manipulate it for 3D, which wasn't that hard, just removing the, the keyboard 2D. Um, and so I was messing around with that. I was also implemented uh, a hurt animation from Mixmo and got that into the animation controller and got it working pretty decent. And I tried to consolidate some of the, the enemy scripts I had because there was maybe a few too extra than I needed, um, at least how I feel right now. And I was also not really um, being too aware of it, but I tried out with the tutorial, um, instead of using like individual colliders, it was basically just an overlap sphere whenever you actually attack. As before, and I still have it now, where the player and enemies each have several colliders on them, which will judge the radius if you know they're in a hearing radius or if they're in an aggro radius or an attack radius. And it seems like I won't really need that. I don't know the exact um, difference in performance or storage that having more colliders and less in the scripts and vice versa would have. Um, but I think doing it this way is probably going to work out better because I don't need to constantly check um, for an enemy, especially if you're walking around an area where there's not enemies, it's kind of going to be a waste. Instead, if I just attack and then check, it should work out a little bit better. So if you'd like to know more, you can head on over to the Discord. I'm happy to talk with any of you guys. So thank you for watching. I love you forever, and I'm coming back next week.